All right, what's up guys? Um, this video is going to be how to do sliced jalapenos. Um, so not a lot of super skill goes into it, but a good thing to build up some knife skills and stuff like that. Um, nice entry level veg prep thing. Uh, so stuff we'll need, obviously jalapenos, good sharp chef knife, green cutting board. As we've said in other videos, green is for anything veg related, so make sure you're using green cutting board. Uh, for this one, it's going to be a tall six pan. I know sometimes depending on the item, it can be either short or tall. Uh, jalapenos are typically going to be in the tall six pan. So six pan, drip set, good for later. Uh, so here we go. So one thing with um, peppers in general, but jalapenos especially, you want to make sure that your knife is good and sharp. So if you don't know how to do that, just ask one of us. We'll go ahead and show you how to straighten it and things like that. I do have a, a whetstone so I can actually sharpen the knife if I need to. But usually we don't have to go through that. Um, so for myself, um, I tend to start at the tip of the jalapeno because it's the one that's like the least perfect for the slices that we're looking for. Uh, so by the time you get to the end, it's pretty much more of a uh, nice perfect ring. Uh, and also the stem tends to give you a little bit more of a handle. This one's not a really good example, but if you look at something like that, you know, you can kind of hold on to that and it'll allow you to have a handle without getting your fingers too close to the knife. So uh, like with anything, proper form, making sure that you're kind of holding back with your fingers curled back, tip of the knife down, and it's really as simple as just making that nice rocking slicing motion. Now it's also really important with these that you do not uh, get them too thick. Okay, uh, even this is a little thick for my taste, um, mostly because it's a jalapeno, it's a pepper, so it can be have kind of an intense flavor. So you don't want to have this really, really um, thick slice of pepper because someone bites into that and that can be a little too spicy for them all at one time. I mean, obviously if they're getting jalapenos, they're kind of asking for something a little spicy, um, but there's a variation to, you know, how much heat you want. So uh, this is really, the entirety of the motion, like the, the whole prep procedure. It's just one pepper after another until you get to the end. Uh, you can throw the stems away as you go, or you can just kind of pile them up almost like little trophies. It's like jalapeno skulls that you've claimed as your victims. I know that's a little morbid, but you know what I mean. Um, so as you go, kind of clearing your space out, moving the slices of jalapeno out of your way so that we're not cutting them a second time. If you can, get pretty frugal with it. Try to get as much of the jalapeno out as you can before you get to the stem. You'll kind of know when you cut too much because uh, you get more of like that core piece in there um, than previous slices, so. As you can see, the knife just caught there. Um, it's a combination of it probably not being as sharp as what it should be, but also the skin of the pepper can be a little tough. Same thing for like uh, bell peppers or Anything in that nature can be a little difficult. So always don't worry about speed, worry about safety and accuracy. Uh, and speed will come. All right, so here you can see the finished product. Nice full pan up to the fill line. Um, again, the fill line is, is really there for our guide. Uh, you can go a little above it, like you're finishing up a pepper and it goes a little above that, don't worry about it. Um, but once you get to that fill line, kind of be cognizant of how many more peppers you're going to cut after that because you don't want to overfill these containers. So at this point, lid, uh, we'll go ahead and get a label, put it on the broad side. Magic. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and store this in the walk-in with the rest of the veg. As always, rotating it to the back and to the bottom of the pile so it'll get a free existing pan in there. Go ahead and making sure that this is underneath that or behind it, whatever you got to do to properly rotate. So um, that's slice jalapenos. If you guys got any questions, feel free to holler. Move on to the next one. All right, later guys.